What's going on YouTube? I'm Shadell with That's All Hip Hop and today I'm going to talk about a topic that's been going on for a while now and this topic is Eminem and Mac Miller the comparisons that fans make even Donald Trump makes them I'm going to talk about my opinion on it and what I feel and if I feel like if they can be compared if there is even a connection between them other than that they're white rappers. So, let's get started. Now, I think his fans blow him up saying that he's the next big thing like an Eminem or an Asher Roth just because he's white. Which is pretty stupid. That's like saying, oh, the next black rapper is going to be like the next Jay-Z or next 50 Cent if you want to flip it around. I think that those same people that say and compare him or just following the trend that, oh, everyone's listening to him. Let me go listen to him also. So those same people that are saying he's going to be the next Eminem or be this and that. Or the same people that are just following other people that actually like that artist. They're just liking him for the time being. And then when they see everyone hop off the, the Mac Miller train, everyone just hops off of it. They want to follow also. So those same people that follow just because it's a trend, they're going to soon leave. They're going to go as soon as they start seeing their friends or family or whoever else is listening to them stop listening to them anymore. Now, I listen to a few Mac Miller songs. I can't down him. He does his, he does his work and everything. But comparing him to Eminem is too far to even, to even compare him. Especially when he hasn't even dropped a CD, which is coming out in December. His Blue Side Park, his uh, first album coming out. He's done mixtapes. If you were to compare him to Eminem, mixtape-wise, yeah, Mac Miller got it. But Eminem doesn't have to drop a mixtape. You look on Eminem's chart, T.S. Straight CDs coming down. And each one of those CDs, they do good. He never has to drop an official mixtape or anything. I know that Mac Miller, he's a self-taught musician. Gotta give him props. He tries to put out at least one or two mixtapes a year. That's what I've seen. I feel that he appeals to the teenage group. Where Eminem, he appeals to... A wide range of people from their teens to like their 30s 40s maybe a lot of people listen to Eminem and I met some of them that are in their 30s or so that still listen to Eminem and like his lyrics and like what he says and can relate to it but when I listen to Mac Miller I can't really relate to him some teens can some people can't but I can't really relate to him don't get me wrong he has good songs just some of the songs he has, I can't really flow with it or rock with it. I can't really do much with it. It's not, I'm not feeling it, in my opinion. But he's, he's a great artist to some people. Now let me get to the Eminem side of things. Where Eminem's been doing this for at least 10 years or more now. So, Mac Miller is about to put out his first album. 10 years Eminem has and more. He's still constant. In 2011, where he drops the CD, recent one, Bad Meets Evil, goes gold and everything, he's, he got it. Till now, he's, he's been killing it. Whenever he drops something, it's hot, everyone wants to get it, why not? Not that I'm trying to down Mac Miller, I plan on checking out Blue Slide Park when it comes out. So I can give my opinion on that, and if I feel it, if I don't, but he's a good artist, I'll check it out. Eminem never has to drop an official mixtape. You may see, like, unofficial mixtapes by DJs, and they make this mixtape here of a bunch of Eminem songs, maybe. But Eminem hasn't dropped a single mixtape, or even featured on a mixtape, ever. Like, I haven't seen an official verse or anything on an Eminem mixtape. Plus, Eminem's known for his complex writing and his lyrics. He connects with his fans. He can bend words. He uses multi-syllable rhymes. Which, to me, Mac Miller, he brings out more simple type of rhyme schemes. That's the way I feel. To compare them all, it's not, it's, it's, it's not even fair. Like, no disrespect to Mac Miller or Mac Miller's fans. He, he has no standing. When Eminem dropped his 1999... The Slim Shady LP, hot, people got it. 2000, he dropped his Marshall Mathers LP, 
everyone started coming out and giving him props and saying that this guy is hot and this and that for a white rapper, everything. Now, Mac Miller's coming up. The only person I seen that gave him props was Donald Trump. And to me, Donald Trump is a nobody in the rap game. That's, to me, Donald Trump has no opinion of saying that he's the next Eminem or he's this or that. Now, I like how Mac Miller took it. He didn't get gassed up by saying it. He's just happy that someone as high as Donald Trump noticed him. So, I, I respect Mac Miller in that. So, that's just my opinions and thoughts on Mac Miller being compared to Eminem. He shouldn't be compared as the new Eminem, the old Eminem, or any Eminem. Because there's far different standards. And technically, you can't call anyone anyone else. There can't be a new Mac Miller. There can't be an old Mac Miller. There can't be this. That's that own person. There can't be another creation of that thing. Post your comments and opinions and thoughts down below. Subscribe up top. Follow me on Twitter. I'll answer all your questions. And have a great day. Peace.